Classroom Friends Honor Guests. It gives us great pleasure on this festive occasion to announce the engagement of my son, Prince No, Henry. Father! Ursula said you were getting married. No, she was misinformed. But please, there is something I must tell you before another word is spoken. So you're not engaged? No, I am not. Whoa, I was going to make the worst mistake of my life. Oh, hey, I need to introduce you to someone. Oh, wait, Mother? there's something I must tell you. Mother, what are you doing? Yes, what I'm are making you, you a princess. But I must tell you. Yes, what How I'm dare you? Sing. Man, and contain yourself! She is an imposter, sire. Her name is Danielle de Barbaret. She's been my servant for ten years. A servant, Henry? Is this some kind of joke? Baroness, you are on dangerous grounds! <laughs> Ask her yourself. She's a devious little pretender, and it's my duty to expose her as the covetous hoax she is. Tell them who you are! Tell them! Have them bow before royalty, you insolent fraud! N Nicole, it, it can't be true! <laughs> Nicole de la Cray was my mother. I am who she says. Oh! <laughs> the, the apple? That was you? Please, I can't. Well, Wait. someone had better. First, you're engaged and now you're a servant? I, I don't, I just don't Please understand. Henry, oh! Oh! <laughs> You, you are just like them. What have you done? I am a servant to the crown. I've been born to privilege and with that comes some Specific obligations. Ridiculous. Have you any idea what she must have went through to get here tonight? She lied to me. She came to tell you the truth. And you fed her to the wolves. Please, Ursula, how do you understand? I know that a life without love is no life at all. And love without trust? How, how, what is that? She's your match, Henry. Oh, I am a servant to the crown, and I shall not yield. Then, my dear, you don't deserve it. I have it on good authority that right before your rather embarrassing debut, the prince is going to select Marguerite to be his bride. <laughs> Men are so fickle, aren't they? One minute they're spouting off sonnets, and the next you're back to being a hired hand. I must say, I've never seen you quite so dedicated in your chores. And what makes you think I do any of this for you? <laughs> my, 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 are we feisty this morning? You brought this upon yourself. Don't you understand? You've won! Go, move into your palace and leave us be. Child, you don't understand. You're not my problem anymore. <laughs> Is that what I am? Your problem? I have done everything. And what was that? What do you think? You are the only mother that I have ever known. Was there a time, even in its smallest measurement, that you loved me at all? <laughs> How could anyone love a pebble in their <laughs> shoe? <laughs> and I have come to a, an agreement. You will be coming with me to work on my estate. No. Take her away. No. 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 No, please don't. No. No.
madam. Madam. Let us, I understand. Let us stop this whole ridiculous affair. instances, 
and his safe return is a matter of homeland security as a treaty with Spain is in jeopardy. Your cooperation and swift dealings in this matter are greatly appreciated by the king and queen and are, as always, evidence of your loyalty to the crown. Long live the king. The Baroness Shrub Millet Gent and her daughters Marguerite and Jacqueline. Come on, work it, work it. <laughs> Baroness, did you or did you not lie to Her Majesty, the Queen of France? Choose your worst wisely, madame, for they may be your last. <laughs> a, a, a woman would do practically anything for the love of her daughter, your majesty. Uh, maybe I did get a little carried away. M Mother, what have you done? Your majesty, just like you, I am a victim here. She has lied to us all, and I am ashamed to call her family. How dare you turn on me, you little ingrate? You see what I have to put up? Silence, both of you, goodness. Uh, are, are, are they always like this? Worse, your majesty. <laughs> uh, Jacqueline, dear. I'd hate to think that you had anything to do with this. Of course not, Mother. I'm only here for food. Camilla mm. mm. Gent, you are forthwith stripped of your title. You and the horrible daughter are to be shipped to America on the first boat. Unless, by some miracle, someone here will speak for you. So many people out of town. <laughs> I will speak for her. She is, after all, my stepmother. <laughs> Your Highness? Uh, Marguerite, I do not believe you had the pleasure of meeting my wife. I want you to know that after this moment, I will never think of you again. However, I am sure that you will think of me every single day for the rest of your life. And how long might that be? <laughs> All I ask, your majesties, is that you treat her with the same courtesy as she has treated me. I see. Bring the loaf. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> After you've washed the cloth, you can start on the napkins and move all these over there. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Marguerite. What? <laughs> you heard the lady. So did you. But I managed it. No, you're not. You're just like me, a big nobody. Dare you speak to me? I am of noble blood. And you're getting on my nerves. <laughs> I broke a nail. <laughs> oh wow! Oh Henry, oh. it's wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> Leonardo da Vinci. He painted it. This is his last work since he before he went to the east. And I believe it is a, a belated wedding gift, your highness. <laughs> what are you giggling about? <laughs> I just can't get over it. Your highness. Well, royalty or not, you three are my dearest and truest friends. You know, 
for all of Leonardo's abilities, he's painted a picture that looks nothing like you. You, sir, are supposed to be charming. Well, and we, madame, are supposed to live happily ever after. Says who? You know, I don't really know. My great-great-grandmother's portrait hung in the university up until the revolution. By then, the truth of the romance had been reduced to a simple fairy tale. And while Cinderella and her prince did live happily ever after, the point, gentlemen, is that they lived. When you meet the someone who was meant for you, before two can become one, there's something you must do. Do you take long walks? Do you feed each other chocolate? <laughs> no. There is something sweeter everybody needs. I've been dreaming of a true love's kiss, and a prince I'm hoping comes with this. That's what brings ever after me so happy. That's the reason we need lips so much, for lips are the only things that touch. So to spend a life of endless bliss, just find to you love through true. sweat and tears for what goes on back there and, and we hope you enjoyed it. Uh, big special props to Miss Christy Brixie. Where did she go? Because without Christy, she runs back and forth here like a mad woman. She does a great job. And without that backstage crew, you guys don't even know what's going on back there. It's not even funny. We're tripping over everything and, and having a good time back there too. Uh, but most importantly, 
The one girl that loves to be on the sideline is Miss Beth Huff. So we hope you all had a great performance tonight. I don't know how we're going to top this one next year, but count on it. I'm sure we will. Everybody, good night.